Okay, in this part, a bit of preparation. I presume that you've already cleaned your parts up with paraffin or a suitable cleaner, and we have to strip out a little bit more before we start assembling. Axles with ABS sensors in them will have the top pin and there'll be a seal in the pin itself, which is this one. So looking at the parts that you get with your kits, depending on which kit you get, you'll have a top pin and ABS sensor bush and a seal. You also get the thrust bearing at the bottom and we'll look at this later in detail. This ABS seal and bush kit, this is for both common axles, the earlier Discovery Defender RRC and the later TD5 ones. Copper holder is for holding the ABS sensor in place once you've pushed it in. That will locate it and keep it there, but it needs to be pushed into the top peg first. And then you can put your seal on. Not like that. Turn it up the other way and it will fit in this way. If for any reason that you're going to use the top pin again, then you will be wanting to get the ABS sensor bracket or the holder out of here and replace it. That's easy done by just prying it up with a screwdriver. Even if you replace an ABS sensor, this is the same thing that you want to be doing. Get rid of this and put a fresh one in. Just keeping this video short, I've actually cleaned and I've spray painted this and painted the bung plugs. This is more for demonstration, but what I've done is I've left the gaskets on, which I'm gonna remove with a Stanley blade. All right, so it's easier this way than having to scrape all the paint off. A sharp blade is pretty good for removing stuff quickly. But as you'll be wanting to fit a gasket on the bottom here, the best thing to do is also scrub it so you've got a nice clean mating surface, almost like you'll be doing a head gasket. We'll be wanting to do this face as well where the stub axle fits on. Scrape to get the rubbish off it. Again, use something like um, emery cloth to clean it off. Where the seal sits and the retainer, ensure it's clean. You want to be making sure that in the groove is clean and there's no rust and grot in there so the seal will sit in squarely. On the top pin, where the shims are going to go, you also want to be cleaning this off. Best to get just the paint off there, so at least then you know that you're going to get an accurate measurement when you actually go to shim it up. Likewise for the calibre brackets, they shouldn't have any paint on them. And just as an extra, I've loosened off the stop lock for the steering. Basically the idea here is to get the mating surfaces so that we get good joints when we fit everything back together. This way we can just use paper gaskets instead of any other gasket sealant. If you're overhauling and not replacing, then with the swivel housing ball, then knock the race out, the bearing race, with a chisel. And you can do this with a top pin in the same way. Just tap it out, drift it out, comes out, and then you're ready to fit another bearing race. In the same manner, you can take the Roco bush out by knocking it out, or in the case of the TD5, knock the race out. I'd always advise fitting new bushes and races to any chrome or Teflon ball, whether it be new or reconditioning it. It seems a bit pointless actually showing you how I've painted these, but I've used these yellow markers just for reference points. You can do it if you want. And uh, I painted this one here with Hammerite Black. Personally, I don't like gloss. I prefer a matte colour to my axle components. The grey paint here that I've used on the housing is actually a, a chassis matte. The yellow that's used is an enamel paint which you can find in most hardware stores and this is a bit more durable.